Okay, so there isn't a video on this anywhere at all on YouTube. So I figured I'd make one real quick. 2015 GMC Canyon to 2022 pillar. We're gonna take out the dash speaker and fix it because it keeps going intermittently. That's why I have the nice shiny quarter stuck in there. I don't know, for some reason that worked. But um, there's this little thingy right here. It, like, there's the airbag thing. You need to like push this down to get this off and push it out. Once you do that, the whole pillar will come off. There's a little bolt right there. Assuming that is what holds on this whole piece. So take that out and see what happens. And take my little quarters out so I can get a gumball. Okay, this bolt is literally way longer than it needs to be. It goes in there. Mine was really loose. Don't know if that had to do with the speaker in intermittently working, but assuming now that this whole thing's gonna have to pop up and come off, we'll see what happens since there's no directions anywhere I could find. So I'm just gonna figure it out. Okay, so there is one more bolt. It's hiding. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. I was wondering why I wasn't come up, coming up, but yeah, you kind of put, pull this up, it pops right up. I'm assuming the whole thing comes off like that. So, there you go. I mean, we'll see what happens after that. We take that bolt out and we'll see what happens. So that did do it, folks. All these clips, I don't think I'm gonna try to take it all the way off. I think I'm just gonna try to like put a little spacer underneath here and then uh, take these bolts out with the shallow socket and then see why my speaker is not functioning all the time. Like it would work if I put like quarters underneath this little piece and it would work if I like push down on the dash, but I obviously don't want to do that. So I'm going to take out the speaker, see if the connections are effed up and go from there and we'll see what happens. But yeah, there's just two bolts on this side, most likely two bolts on that side, same, same location. Then this whole thing just pops right up with these clips. I hope this helped all of you. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Don't really foresee any of these breaking or any problems. There's a little, there's little slats here that it slides into like that. Make sure those are in all the way so that you're not pushing against just hard plastic where the slats are. Make sure everything's lined up. This is pushed back in the slats and then put your two bolts back in. Put your pillar back on. Don't forget to put that little clippy back on. And then feed your weather stripping back where it needs to be. And then you should be golden. All right. You know what? I figured I'd just do this side because I know that I'd probably get some questions on it. So you pop these little doohickeys out. There are going to be two bolts in there. Not sure what size they are at this moment. Let's check. Oh, my tools are not over here. They're right there. But... I'll, uh, I'll let you know what size it is. For these ones, these little guys, I believe it's a seven. Yeah. Seven millimeter. Those are, that's the ticket to get those ones out. This one, let's see. I think it's gonna be like, or 12, no, probably like 14. Okay, so that was it. The two grab bar bolts held it on. Then there was one little clip. So you just kind of grab on the grab bar after you got these bolts out, pull. And then we got our handy dandy little seven millimeters. One right there, one right there. Take those out. And then this dash will pop right up and then you can take it off. Probably, this was probably just held on my connector. See, little connector underneath there. You just squeeze on both sides of it, pull it out, and it'll come out. Um, yeah, not that difficult. And I can't believe there's not really a video that I could find anywhere showing how to do this. It's not that hard. This truck's been around for almost 10 years now. Also, 
One more thing, you need to get yourself one of these. This magnet. Well, it's not gonna, you don't need to see that. Anyways, this is a lifesaver. Got a nice knurled handle, it's all like aluminum, and this thing bends. It bends every which way you need it. When I was doing that dash reinstall reinstallation, I dropped two bolts. Two, yeah, I know. Down in the dash. I used that, and it was a lifesaver. I did have to take a couple panels off to get the last screw out, but still, this helped me a lot. So get yourself one of those. It's like ten bucks. Super high strength neodymium magnet. It'll save your life.